Boys and girls, Alex here. I have a Nova Voyager drill press that has this, what I consider just a pain in the ass crank handle. This is actually a replacement handle, it's a jet one. The original one came more down that way and as you can see, I can move it but it's just such a pain to do. So what I'm going to try and do is replace this handle, hopefully, with something that can be driven by a drill. And, well, it's an idea I've got, I got off a chap at Craftesian. And I think his name is Recycle1943. Um, however, um, I'm going to try and do it. First of all, I've got to remove this old handle. Now, it's got a spindle there with a flat side. And apparently, oh, at the moment, this is held in with, I think, a five, five or a six mil screw. Now, the intention is, hang on, I'll just turn the camera off for a second. As I said, the intention is to put a, this is a 14 mil socket, it fits over it, a bit loose, and I don't think a 13 mil will do. But hopefully, what I intend to do is to drill a hole, tap it, and get the screw to hold onto it, much like this one does. Well, that's the intention. We shall see what happens next. And it's got a bit of a play. Um, he did recommend not getting a 12-segmented one, but we'll see. This is the only one I could get. I, I, I suppose I could have got a hardened steel one. Uh, but anyway, we shall see. Okay, here I go trying to drill through this um, bit with my vortex. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, um, that was pretty quick. Much quicker than what I expected. I'll undo these clamps. Oh, by the way, I had it. Um, clamped with these uh, pecker clamps in my little trusty oh, what do you call it um, hand vise with those little customised duvets well there you have it it's done now ok I'm going to go and hand tap um, I hope I've got enough meat in there to get a decent grip. Well, that's gone through. Tighten that up. Oh, come on. Okay, let's loosen that up. We here we go. No, we don't. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hang on. Okay, well, that seems to have done it. Um, now it's a case of let's go over to the thing and see how tight it gets. Okay, I don't know how much my hand will get in the way, but let's remove the old one. 
And let's try the new one. I've actually put this nut on there so I can then hopefully tighten it. That should go on there. Let's give that a bit of a oops, wrong spanner. Surely that looks quite reasonable. That I've got there so I can then tighten that down. I'll do that later to actually lock it in. That looks like that's there, so let's go and get a drill. Camera's in a bugger of a position, so that's loose. So I might be able to swing this around to get a better angle. Here I am with drill in hand. It's a 18 volt Makita. Now I did try, I did shoot a video using all the different drills before but I've made such a dog's breakfast of it um, I thought look I've got to reshoot it and get rid of all the crap um, I tried the 12 volt uh, DeWalt which uh, sort of worked but preferably on the down but not as good on the up the 12 volt Fest2 um, Look, it did a good enough job, but I just didn't like the thought of it labouring away. So I went for this. And as I said, I tried the others. However, um, this seems to be okay. Um, just fit that on. Oh, let's try that again. Put that on and uh, let's go. As you can see, it works like a charm. The problem is that this is a, uh, well, a large drill. And maybe I should, I'm going to probably tomorrow go out and get a small socket rather than this long socket to see how it works. You see, my problem is I've got this table top tilted. However, if I bring it back to its normal position, which is back here somewhere, that drill is just about obstructing or getting very close to obstructing my passageway through there. And I'm sure the time will come when I walk past, whack that, maybe break something. So I don't quite like the concept of it. And the fact that, look, it comes up that easy and that much, I really don't mind um, keeping it away from it and having to just attach the drill. Um, it would be much nicer if I could come in from here with some sort of a um, differential type of a thing. But look, this will do me. Um, however, having said that, I tend not to um, move my tabletop up and down that much and I'm, I'm just in two minds whether I should actually buy I don't want to this Makita is dedicated for another job um, I'm in two minds of whether I would go out and get another drill an 18 volt drill just for this job because that is cumbersome but look at the moment it's not too bad but if worse comes to worse, like if I've got to do a whole heap of repeated up and downs, it only takes about a minute or two. Actually, you'll see here. Um, how it, oh, go this way. Um, if I want to swap this out, oops, wrong key. Take that off. that on and I'm ready to go and as you can see it's going 
cooling down is okay. Coming up is just a bit of a nuisance. And I have cut, again, I don't know whether you're getting, yeah, you can. I've cut this bit out of the tabletop. Now, I will admit, I am thinking of revising a tabletop, putting a different tabletop, one with the MFT style dog holes and T tracks going exactly the way this is, but maybe another one going up the front here. Um, so if I do make the table different, I wouldn't mind actually having this cutout back here and therefore the handle might get in the way with the new table and I might start using that. But uh, we'll see. And look, while I'm on the this here, I reckon that the hero of this whole thing um, was this jewel bit. This little beast here. You saw how it went, how easily it went through that socket. Well, look, I'll just show you, give you another example. Hang on, I'll set it up. Okay, I've got the drill bit set up. I've got this. I don't know what the hell this bar is, but it's tough as bloody hell. I know because previously I cut a couple of holes for test things on. And, oh, it took me an age to drill through that with a cobalt bit. Um, I have cut a few, drilled a few holes in this, only to test the tapping to make sure I've got the right pitch for the bolt that I had. But you'll see how well it goes through. And as I said, this is, I, I don't know whether it's tempered or God knows what, but it's certainly tougher than this uh, stainless... Uh, uh, thing because that went sure it's like butter. Now I've got this set on 800. Hang on, I might crank it up to a thousand. I don't know why I'm doing it, but here we go. As as I said, this is tough as God knows what. Um, but yeah, it's been through it. Uh, I, 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 I look. I, I, I have tried um, these holes with cobalt bits, and I do remember it struggling. So that's it. Um, Uru and keep safe.